Fighting for me is the moment when the world becomes totally clear. I use discipline and focus as my greatest weapons. Without them, I would be nothing. That's why I never fear my opponent. For me, he represents only a new challenge to conquer. I will leave no doubt in the mind of every fighter that has met me in the octagon that they have faced a true warrior. I have spent my whole life to become a champion. That moment is finally here. 5,000 miles away at the mouth of the Amazon River. Since he was a child, the author dreamt about winning the belt. He has always dreamed about being the best in the world. It's not a question of money or fame. It's just his dream. I find it very difficult to live as a samurai. It's a very hard doctrine, but uh, every day I try to improve. Here in Belém, I draw strength from the jungle. I take a boat and 20 minutes away, I'm able to find a peaceful place like this, where I can activate my psychological side. Meditation plays a big role in my life. Meditation fortifies my spirit. It improves my focus, my desire. When I fight, I try to empty my mind. It's called mushi. When you don't see anything around you, you only see that moment. Nothing else matters. That was how I was taught to live. My father moved by himself from Japan to Brazil when he was 22 years old. And his first stop was here in Belém. When he arrived in Brazil, he was already third down in karate. I'm only five foot six, and when I got here, most of the people were closer to six feet. So I created my own karate, so I could compete with people taller than me. I based everything on foot movement. Side to side, diagonal, back and forth. I was practically born and raised in a gym. Karate is in my blood. Since a very young age, 14, 15 years old, we got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. 5.30 in the morning was when my father started training us. You wake up early so your first opponent is yourself. You must decide, do I go or not? Is it raining? Am I tired? Just getting out of bed is winning the first fight. My father penalized us if we were even a minute late. Sometimes he would tell us to sit on our knees, facing the wall, and when we got up, we could barely walk. Karate has been and always will be the main focus of the family. That's how we grew up, me and Lioto. Not only the competition, but the way of life. I taught them that karate is not only kicking and striking. You use it in everyday life, even in business. It gives me the confidence to strike when I need to strike. As he got older, Lyoto added other martial arts to his karate base. 
Como eu falei há pouco, I started studying sumo when I was seven or eight. When I got older, I went to Thailand to study Muay Thai and Japan for wrestling. In Japan, Lyoto met promoter Antonio Inoki, who took him on as a protege. In 2003, at age 24, Lyoto made his MMA debut. Lyoto was very afraid of using his karate, so he focused on taking his opponent down for submission. I could not finish him, but I won by unanimous decision. Inaki was in the crowd, and he congratulated me by slapping me in the face three times. Legend has it that when he does that, the fighter becomes successful. I didn't know about this legend. Later, when I was told the story, I said, you can hit me three more times if you wish. Lyoto won his next six fights, including impressive victories over future UFC champions Rich Franklin and BJ Penn. Oh, Machida surprising him with all this aggression. Two more wins set up a showdown with rising star Thierry Sokaju. When Sokaju first came to the Ultimate Fighting Championship, he was thought to be one of the most dangerous guys in the light heavyweight division. Lyoto has done a great job of avoiding damage. So that you got caught. And now Machida trying to take advantage. Lyoto completely shut him down. Machida trying for that arm triangle. Oh, he's got it. He so that you got it. Lyoto Machida remains on beat. Up next was Machida's toughest test yet. Former UFC light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz. So I tried to eliminate all this and think only about the fight. That is when the machine came in, the emptiness. I was worried about his wrestling and how he would do if he got taken down. There he goes. He's got to hang on to that, though. Not only could Tito Ortiz not take him down. And again. Oh, he's Ortiz. Every time Tito grabbed onto Machida, Machida threw Tito off like he was a little kid. Great takedown defense by Machida. I mean, really impressive stuff. Machida completely dominated him. Oh, oh big oh, Tito oh, oh. is down. Machida looking to finish it. Machida pounding away on Tito Ortiz. In five fights in the UFC, the Dragon had yet to lose a round. Oh, what are you supposed to accomplish in martial arts? You're supposed to inflict as much damage while taking in as little damage as possible. No one does that better than Lyoto Machida. In samurai times, the fights were with swords. If a sword touched you, you could lose a limb or even die. So my objective is to never get hit. In January, Lyoto brought his newfound confidence into the octagon against another undefeated challenger, knockout machine Tiago Silva. Lyoto knew he had to do something to get the fans, you know, on his side. Pretty much, man, all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Let's go. He knew he had to uh, have a great performance in order to get a title shot. Tiago used the wrong strategy coming after Lyoto from the beginning of the fight. By chasing Lyoto, Tiago is falling right in Lyoto's hands. It wasn't a very smart thing to do. Deep down, we knew this fight would not last three rounds. We knew he would finish that fight.
time Lyoto Machida fights, more and more people are interested, more and more people are uh, becoming Machida fans. In March, Lyoto got the call. He'd be facing Rashad Evans for the light heavyweight title. When I found out about it, I realized I was being given a chance to achieve everybody's dream, to fight for the belt and win. This fight is a perfect opportunity to show that a traditional martial art, karate, can reach the top of the game. Every night I dream of him, and sometimes dream of Lyoto with his hand raised and the belt around his waist.